Looking up in the night sky, you've probably noticed that the moon goes through phases. From fully dark, to fully lit, and fully dark again. The time it takes for the moon to go through one of these cycles is about 29 Earth days. This period is called a lunar month. But the strange thing about it is that while the moon goes from fully lit to fully dark, the moon phase never actually changes. This is Earth. It completes a full rotation around its axis in 24 hours in a full orbit around the Sun in 365.25 days. The Moon, on the other hand, orbits the Earth while also rotating around its axis. However, unlike the Earth, for the Moon, those two cycles are perfectly synchronized. This means that while the Moon rotates around the Earth, it has one side permanently facing the planet, with the other permanently facing away. In fact, the first ever glimpse we've had from the far side of the Moon was from the photos taken by the Russian Luna 3 spacecraft back in 1959. Although synchronized rotation is a very interesting phenomenon, it is not that unique. In fact, it's actually observed in multiple moons in the solar system. But why does that happen? Well, in short, it's due to gravity. You see, Earth's gravity is what keeps the Moon in orbit, and the Sun's gravity is what keeps the Earth in orbit. However, while the Sun is 150 million kilometers away, the distance between the Earth and the Moon is only 384,000 kilometers. This means that the Sun's gravity exerts virtually the same force on the whole planet, while the Earth's gravity, although much weaker in comparison, has a stronger pull on the near side of the Moon than it does on its far side, due to the significantly shorter distance between the two bodies. And it was this difference in gravity strength that eventually caused the tidal lock on the Moon's near side. This relationship, however, is far from one-sided, as the Moon's gravity could potentially cause a tidal lock on the Earth. But this is a topic for another video.